I'll just go straight to the point. If you're still using Studio, you're not alone. But here's the thing. MuleSoft is clearly shifting towards Anypoint Code Builder, and it's already unlocking tools and features you just can't get in Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you why I made the switch, what it has helped me do, and how you can try it out without fully committing just yet. ACV isn't just a different interface. It's a whole new developer workflow. Built on Visual Studio Code, it integrates with tools like Cursor AI and GitHub Copilot. And because it's on VS Code, you can use tools like the source control or even install other extensions like I have right here. Plus, new Milsa features like Agent Force Topics, this is only available in ACV. Now imagine in the future what else is just going to be available in ACV and not in Studio. Look, I'm not saying ditch Studio right now. It's still the default for many teams. And ACV isn't fully loaded for enterprise workflows yet. But you should absolutely start playing with it. That way, when your team does move, you're already way ahead of them. Now take a look at this poll. Only 10% of the people in this poll, which is 130 votes, are using ACV daily. The rest of them are like on and off, uh, traded once or twice, or haven't touched it. So like, statistics don't lie, people are not really using ACV right now, but this will change eventually. Like, do you remember when we had Mule 3 and we were switching to Mule 4 and Mule 4 was like this scary new thing, but that's life. Like, we just try the new stuff. Eventually, it's going to be the only stuff available, so why not try it out now? Now, how do you actually get started with ACV? First, you have to install Git. So you can just search for Git download or go to this direction right here. And this will set you up to download it for Mac, Windows or Linux. Once you have Git, go ahead and download Visual Studio Code. You can go to code.visualstudiocode.com and download. Again, this is showing me Mac, but you can also download it for Windows or Linux. Now, once you have all of that, go ahead and go to your Visual Studio Code, head to the place right here that says extensions, look for any point extension pack and download this whole thing. Do not, under any circumstances, download each of these one by one. You have to download the whole thing and install the whole thing. If you already went ahead and installed all of these one by one, Please go ahead and first uninstall all of them, then quit your Visual Studio Code, like close it completely, reopen it, and now go ahead and just install the AnyPoint extension pack. If you are having any sort of issues, because I've seen a lot of people having issues because they installed the other ones first, do the same thing. Go ahead and uninstall all of the extensions, quit VS Code, even restart your computer if you need to. Then make sure that you have Git, make sure that you have the latest version of VS Code, and then, just then, go ahead and install the AnyPoint extension pack. Now, once you have it installed, you will see this MuleSoft icon right here. So all of this thing is a VS Code uh, bar, I guess. If you are new to VS Code, because it is a whole new thing, like it's not on ACV, this is VS Code. So go ahead and check out some tutorials on getting used to VS Code first. And then you can come here and start trying ACV now that you already know how VS Code works. For example, you can just start with something small, come here and click on Design an API. So once you're here, go ahead and start with your API specification. Uh, maybe not use the agent topics just yet because you're just getting started with this thing. So add any project name, use your project location. In my case, I always use downloads. Um, your API type, you can do a REST or a sync, whatever you, you're more comfortable with. Um, your specification language, it can be RAML, it can be OAS, whatever, again, you're more comfortable with. Select your business group. This is only if you're already logged in. Um, as I am here. If you're not locked in, that's fine. Just don't select anything here and click on create project. And that way you can just get started by doing something that is very familiar to you. 
If you want to actually see code, but you don't want to develop anything just yet, that is completely fine. Go here to develop an integration. And once this open, you can select template or example project. I believe there is a hello mule or hello world somewhere that you can use. I can find it. Well, anyway, you can use uh, any example, like for example, this one implementing a custom API policy and API manager and so on. Like there are many examples that you can use. So just choose any one of those, uh, maybe one that you're already familiar with, or maybe you can open it first in studio so you can see the code in studio and then come here and like click on add asset so you can actually see it and again, get started on it. So just cl click on create projects and this will open this example for you. That way you can kind of see how it is in studio. So you are already familiar with the code and then come here and see it in ACB. So you can like kind of follow through whatever is happening in ACB and you don't feel that lost because, hey, it is a new thing. And we as humans are afraid of change. And that is a natural thing to do. You can also just go ahead and check any of my videos. I have a ton of videos on ACV now. I practically don't use Studio anymore, so you can go ahead and check some of my walkthroughs on other things. Or if you want to go straight to Cursor and get started with Cursor instead of going through VS Code, since Cursor is technically another IDE because it is another application that you have to install, you can just do that too. So just go to cursor.com download the IDE, install it in your operating system. You do have to do the other things like install Git. And then once you are here, this is a tiny bit different UI than you would be used to if you were already on VS Code. So, hey, if you don't want to switch twice, maybe just go ahead and try Cursor. You can still do ACV in Cursor, but instead of downloaded VS Code, and getting used to VS Code and then running to Cursor and then have to redo it again because Cursor is a little bit different, then you can also do that. So when you open Cursor here, you can open Project, Clone, Repo, blah, blah, blah. Like it looks like this is the only thing that you can do, but that's not true. If you look here to the top, you can open this, which is what we already saw in VS Code. So you can come here, for example, and look for extensions. And here you can look for the AnyPoint extension pack. Once you find it, go ahead and install it. As you can see, this is the same UI that we just saw in VS Code. So you can also do that. Same as before, if you install each one of these one by one, go ahead and uninstall them and then close and reopen and do the whole thing again. And now you will also notice that we don't have the bar, the activity bar that we had here at the left side. We now have it at the top. So again, that might be a slight difference. So if you're used to having it at the left, I don't believe you can move it just yet. Maybe they will add that in, in the future. But for now, you just have it at the top, maybe to make it like a more minimalist kind of view. I don't know. But what you can do if you want to keep, for example, ACB here at the top, you can go ahead and pin it. For example, here I have Postman, but it, it is not visible from here, but I can go ahead and pin it and it will appear here at the top. So you can do kind of something like that. Then you can also use this to show or hide this view. You can also click here to show or hide the terminal and everything that is at the bottom. And you can also click here to see your chats with cursor. This is the one that I use the most because I like open it to do something and then I close it and so on. So you can try that. And like getting used to the chat in cursor is another thing. You can have context, you can have agents, you can have a lot of different things. You can put images. Um, you can use like command L to take uh, context from a file and so on. So. If you want to start using cursor right away and not go through the whole VS Code thing, or if you want to use GitHub Copilot, you can use uh, VS Code. But honestly, I feel like cursor is better than G GitHub Copilot. Don't ask me why, it's just a feeling. Um, so yeah, you can just come here and you can also have here uh, the cursor settings. So if you have like specific things that you want to set up, I don't know, like uh, the rules or MCP servers and so on, you can just come here. So there's that.
Plus, if you open the command palette, which is command shift P in Mac, you can search for themes and change your beautiful, beautiful themes to whatever your heart desires. You can even create your own theme. This happens in VS Code and Cursor because it's the same thing. So, I mean, that's a huge plus for me, honestly. So, in summary, ACV is where MuleSoft is headed and early adopters will be the ones shaping how we build integrations tomorrow. You don't have to switch completely today, of course, but you should start getting your hands dirty now. I'm here to help you in anything you need. If you have some issues and you already tried my troubleshooting stuff, feel free to leave a comment here and I will try to help you as best as I can. You can also reach out to me on LinkedIn. Remember that not all of the features that you have in Studio are available in ACV just yet. This is just so you can get started in, like, as I said, just get your little hands dirty a little bit. So yeah, just start trying it out. Just, we'll see. Like, we will have to do this switch eventually. Why not try it out now? Well, there's still, like, the other option <laughs> available for you if you need to, like, go back. All right, let me know what else I can do for you. Let me know if you need some tutorial that is specifically to ACV. I am happy to create it for you so you can do the switch more easily. We can have a call. We can do some messaging, whatever it is that you need. I am here to help you do this. All right, that is all for this video. I hope this was insightful and helpful. I will see you in the next video. Bye.